Thank you for joining me this evening, and uh, I want to read uh, tonight from Isaiah chapter 57, verse 1. I shared with you uh, a few videos back uh, concerning uh, the that the rapture is, there's mention of the rapture in the Old Testament or the Tanakh. Uh, in fact, it's mentioned more than just one particular place. There's two, two places in particular I want to deal with tonight. Uh, again, one of them being in Isaiah chapter 57, verse 1. Now, reading out of English translation, you would not maybe pick this up that the rapture. This has any these verse. This verse has anything to do with the rapture. But again, if you if you can go back and look at the original Hebrew text and see what the words mean. As I mentioned in the past, uh, words Hebrew words have more than just one particular meaning. Just like we have English words sometimes that have more than one meaning to them as well. And um, so. Uh, what the translators have done is taken a Hebrew word that has more than one meaning to it, and at their discretion, they have chosen to use a word that I believe is the incorrect translation. Now, what, here's what I mean by that. In Isaiah chapter 57, verse 1, it says, The righteous perisheth. Now, the, the word, English word perisheth is the Hebrew word abad, A-B-A-D, a abad. Um, it actually, the meaning of the word could mean perish. That's one of the meanings of it. But it also could mean vanish. Now, when you read it like this, it makes a whole lot more sense because just reading it from the English text, it doesn't make sense. Um, but when you read it from the Hebrew perspective and realize that the word perisheth that, that, that's used here in our English translation could also mean vanish, then it begins to make uh, you begin to have understanding, especially if you understand that there is going to be a rapture that's going to take place, uh, which I believe is very soon, then you can understand what this particular verse is revealing to us. Now let's go through and read the whole verse. It says, The righteous vanish, and no man lays it to heart, or no man considers, that merciful men are taken away, and I've made reference to the fact that when it says merciful men are taken away, you know, the real believers, uh, we have been shown mercy. And because we've been shown mercy, we're to show others mercy. We're the merciful people. We're the merciful men that I believe this is talking about here because Yahushua the Messiah declared that he said, Be ye merciful even as your Father is merciful. So we're to show mercy to people just like our, we've been shown mercy by our Heavenly Father. And it says that merciful men, now notice, notice this, are taken away. Now this is something interesting. The word take, taken away actually is the Hebrew word asaph. And uh, the meaning of this word in Hebrew means together, collect, together, together into a company of others. <laughs> if that's not a description of the rapture, I don't know what is. We shall all be called up together to meet Yahusha in the air, and so shall we ever be with Yahusha. This is a gathering right here, where it says that the righteous vanish, no man lays it to heart, that merciful men are taken away, are gathered together, in other words, none considering that the righteous, again, I've shared with y'all many of my videos, that the only people that's going to be raptured, uh, at, at, uh, in, in, that's going to be raptured in, as far as the church is, are, is the church or is the bride of Messiah, but they are the righteous ones, those that have been born again of the Ruach Hakadesh, the set apart spirit, the Holy Spirit, which most people refer to. Those are the those are the righteous ones. There is no one else righteous unless you have the Spirit. It's what makes you righteous. It's you have been given. You've been given uh, the divine nature. Uh, you, we the Second Peter chapter one talks about that we have become partakers of the divine nature. In other words, we were we were by nature children of wrath. Ephesians chapter two talks about that we were by nature the children of wrath, but we have been given now the spirit of, of, of the Mashiach, crying, Abba, Father. And that's what makes us one with him. That's what makes us righteous. So the, the ones that are going to be uh, raptured or taken out of the way or gathered together 
the righteous ones are the ones who have been born again of the Ruach HaKadosh. Once the rapture takes place, everyone left over or left here on the earth, they're not Christians or believers or whatever. They, the people that are left were not born again, did not have the spirit, and are, are the unrighteous ones that will be left behind. So, don't let anyone deceive you in, into thinking that only the super saints are going in the rapture, or those you know that 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 are that are really paying attention. Now, I know we're we're to watch for the coming of the Mashiach. He instructed us to, but that's a general statement to everybody. That's a general statement to to believers as well as unbelievers that we're to watch, and especially for the unbelievers because they, if they're if they are watching, then they sh should be ready when he comes, and he warns them that if they're not they'll be left behind. So, again, it talks about the righteous are taken away. Again, it said taken away. They're gathered together. They're gathered together from the evil, notice this, the word evil to come. Now, the Hebrew word here for evil is ra. And the the meaning of this word, um, well, I didn't, I didn't put this on here, but the meaning of this word, the evil to come, is talking about the wrath of, the, uh, that's to come. Of course, this this makes reference to the fact is that that uh, this time frame of Jacob's trouble and uh, Daniel's seventieth week is a time of wrath. It's the time of Yahuwah's wrath being poured out upon the earth, which we as believers uh, will not have to endure. <laughs> this is good news. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue this in our next session. We're gonna go back and read from Isaiah chapter twenty six on our next session and talk about how that ties in to this as well. So thank you for uh, your time tonight. Please again share my videos with others. And until next time, Shalom.